This video looks at how to record a statutory holiday. We're going to use Christmas 2017 for our demo. First of all, in the Runner Pay area, click on the Leave Management view. That's the second icon across in this little icon panel at the top of your screen. This will allow you to record leave for all your staff at once. Now over on the right hand side there's a menu. Click the down arrow and we can choose which day we're going to work with. We're going with Christmas Day to begin with. My three staff are quite different. Sally is a casual worker, but I know that she would normally have worked on a Monday. So I'm going to record a statutory holiday taken for her. And I'm going to ensure that her 52 week average hours are recorded along with her 52 week rate to make sure that her average daily pay is paid to her for that day. George is a little bit easier. He's a salaried worker and the system's already loaded in his hours. It knows what he would have got for the day. I don't have to worry about him. And Denise is a part-timer. Again, she didn't work on the day, but she normally would, so I'm going to record a statutory holiday taken. The 52-week average hours have already populated for her and her rate. I'm happy with all of that, and I'm going to select all of the staff at once by clicking this button here on the right and clicking Apply. That's Christmas Day done. Now I'm going to go back to the menu and select Boxing Day. Again, Sally didn't work, but normally would, so I'm going to go and put her 52-week average hours in. I'm happy with that. George didn't work again, but the system has already populated his hours. But here, Denise is a little bit different. She did work on a public holiday, and I can check that when I click the timesheet button here against her name. And I can see that 7.5 hours was worked on the Boxing Day, on this Tuesday. So I'm happy with that. She, the system has already recorded the 7.5 hours from her timesheet at $20 an hour times time and a half. So it's going to work all that out for me and it's added another 7.5 hours in for her as an alternate public holiday to be taken another time. So I'm happy with all that and I'm going to select all of them again on the right hand side and click apply. Now if I want to have an overview of everything I've done, I can go back up to the menu and choose Leave Summary. And there I can see everything I've recorded for the staff. I can even take out any of the leave lines from here too and start again if I want to. To go back to the pay card view, go back up to the top and look for the four icons. The third icon on the right is the full pay card view one. When you click that, it'll take you back. You can view the leave when you click the preview button on each of the panels. And for George, you'll notice that it's reduced his salary hours by 16 because he's been paid 16 hours for his two statutory holidays. So he's all taken care of. With Denise, I know that she's getting paid time and a half for some of her hours, so her pay will be a little bit higher this time. When I click the preview button for her, it does tell me that it's reduced the 7.5 hours from her timesheet because it's paying her separately as a public holiday worked just making sure that she's not overpaid for that day. And if I scroll down, I'll be able to see her public holiday worked, hours recorded and the rate, which is at her time and a half rate. All of this information can be viewed as well from the reports in the finalised screen before you close the pay.